all round, mate, we've got a team now that, you know, when, if we're fortunate enough with injury to have, you know, your key players fit and playing well with, you know, we've got some nice depth in our forwards in particular. And, you know, when we put out a team that we put out on the weekend, we should be expecting to do well every week. And regardless of who we play, you know, we should think if we play really well that we're either going to win or we're going to really threaten a really good side, you know. And, and that's what was the most disappointing about the weekend. It's probably the most disappointed I've been since I've been at Huddersfield because I thought the team we put out there, I thought, you know, man for man, you know, when you look at what Cass had, which are a dangerous team, you know, I reckon if Terry had his chance, he would have taken plenty of our players and put in his team. And, you know, what Cass showed us is what, you know, a bit of discipline and, and good hard work can do for you. You can beat anyone. Yeah, obviously, uh, we're all disappointed. We, we wanted um, to do better. We wanted to win the game. And obviously, all credit to Cass, they turned up and they give it to us and rightfully deserve the points. So, no, we're disappointed, but... Um, I don't suppose it doesn't make us a bad team overnight and we're still pretty confident that we can turn it around and we just um, we want to get back out there and, and, and put the rights wrong now and uh, have a good performance against Hull. Yeah, to be honest all the lads are a bit gutted, um, not so much with losing just the way we lost, um, I think we were just very disappointing in all aspects of the game, nothing like it was against Warrington and fair credit to Castleford, they were fantastic. It definitely was a disappointing performance, and not only I'm not only dis you don't get disappointed in the players, I get disappointed in in myself as well, you know, because the coaches, uh, it's our team to put a team out there that's prepared to do well, and when the team doesn't do as well as you'd like, you gotta you gotta take your share of responsibility as well. It's it's a long season, you know, and just one game a blip at the beginning is probably a positive thing if you can take anything from it. You can learn some lessons and make sure you improve over the course of the season and we start at home in front of our own crowds against a very tough Hull outfit as well, so we're looking forward to it. We learned that if you don't turn up ready to play and, and, and with the same attitude every week and same hunger and desire that every team in the league can, can pull a performance out. You look at the Wakefield game and everything was against them, but they turned up to play and, and they got the points and that's the same across the board. And, Hopefully we can we can take that out of it and learn from that and, and make sure we, we turn up every week and we're ready to play. Um, yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. Uh, it's been good experience and um, it's been good to uh, get to know a new bunch of players and, and um, having a new coach in Brown has been pretty refreshing for me. Oh, playing at home is always good, you know. It's, I mean, it's good playing anywhere, but at home's obviously your home ground and you know, we've got a sort of a loyal bunch of supporters that come to most of the home games and I'm, I'm sure Hull FC will bring some travellers with them so I'd be disappointed if we don't get a good crowd and um, you know, I'm sure there's, you know, there's plenty of us that are looking to come up with a decent response from, from the weekend. I That's think sweet. everyone's looking forward to playing in front of our own crowds, you know, they can be very vocal when they can turn out in force and we want to give them something to shout about as well. Definitely very excited about um, playing the first game at the golf farm. Uh, you know, and, and to be playing against a, a side like Hull FC, you know, as a um, a fair few guys will be coming up against that I've, I've played a bit against in, in, in Australia and with, so um, yeah, it's going to be a big match, I'm looking forward to it. If we go out there and we put the required effort in and play with the right discipline, that we should feel and expect to do well every week, and it might not guarantee you win every week, but you know, if, if we can get you know, the, the discipline bit right, the effort bit right, and play with the right control, you know, we should be expecting to do well every week, regardless whether we're playing Hull or we're playing Carsford or we're playing... St Helens, you know, and as a team and as a group, you know, when you when you watch the game on the weekend and you see the areas where we let ourselves down and then you see glimpses of what we can do, we've got, you know, plenty of good players in our squad and players that a lot of other teams would definitely like to have, but you definitely got to get the attitude and discipline bit right first. And if we get that right, well, you know, we'll see how things unfold then. You, you don't you don't go from being a good side and beating a, a really good Warrington side to, to a poor side. It was... Like I say, Castleford played well and, and, and we didn't turn up, so there's, there's no big crisis, you know, we're, we're OK and uh, we'll, we'll turn up this week and we'll be ready to play and we'll put a good performance in. We're confident going into every game, you know, we're a, a decent team, we've got some great players and a lot of strength and depth as well, I don't know if there have been any changes this weekend, but no matter who it is, they'll come in and do a job. Perhaps a silly question, but is rotating the squad something you'd think about this early on in the season or not? Um, if someone don't play this week, it won't be through rotation.